Hello and welcome to a new video. Today, I would like to show you the power of products on Datacake. So every device that you create on Datacake belongs to a product and the product holds the dashboard, payload decoder, database field, downlinks, and so on. If you add a new device, it automatically creates a product. And if you want to add multiple devices, all look the same, have the same dashboard, you can use that product and add new devices to that product. First of all, to create a new product, all you need to do is create your first or add your first device. Products are there on LoRaWAN devices, particle devices, and API devices, no matter if it's MQTT or Webhook integration. In this example, I'm going to use API. Um, and the first thing that you see here in this dialog is that it asks you for the data cake product. The options are existing product. Right now, there is no product in this workspace, create new product, or a product from a template. We support various templates here for API and also for LoRaWAN, it's the same. Back to API, we now go ahead and create a new product. We call that new product um, on Datacake or let's call this device product um, 01. We press on next and now we can add devices to that product. Right now, we want to start with just one device because we want to create everything from scratch. And we call this new device 01. We press on next. We're going to stick with the free plan at this device. And this is now added to our workspace here. Um, in this fleet list, what you can do here is you can also activate the product and the product type and also the serial number. Um, you can see that this is the device product 01 that we've just created. So now we can go into that device, go into configuration and make um, or create the first database fields. Let's keep it very simple. We are going to create a float for temperature and we are also going to create a float for humidity. Just a very basic example. And because there's no physical device yet, we can simulate this to weigh you like 20 degrees and we are going to simulate this to 56 degrees. Okay, let's go back into the dashboard. Now we're going to create a very quick dashboard for um, the fields we've just created. First of all, temperature and also for the humidity. And we're going to save this by exiting the edit mode. Okay, that's it. We've created a dashboard database field for this new device. Now we are going back into the device list. So this is our device and yeah, basically it's the dashboard we've just created. And now we're going to create another or add another new device to that um, product. So we're going to press on add device once more. Next, we press on API. And now you can see it automatically selects the existing product because it knows there is a product in this workspace. And this is the device product 01 we've just created. So we simply select the existing product, press on next, and we call this new device 02, press on next, pre-plan, and we're going to add this device. As you can see here, it's a new serial number, but it's the same product and the same product type. And now, if I open up the new device 02, it has the same dashboard as the previous device. And also the database is already set up here with the fields. But of course the data is individually stored on each device. We can simulate a different temperature here and also a different humidity. So you can see it's been stored here and this device holds 25 and 55 back into device list, device number 120 and um, 56. If I would add new devices um, to that existing product, they all would look the same and they all would behave the same. But if I want to do changes to all of these devices or to the product, I can simply open up one of these devices here, go into the edit mode and say like, okay, um, this dashboard should have a gauge as well. So I'm going to create a gauge, very quick one. Um, yeah, zero degree is pretty cold, 40 degree is pretty warm. Going to save this, make it maybe a little bit larger as well. Exit the edit mode. And as you can see here, this device holds the new um, or the changes to the dashboard. Back into fleet mode in the fleet list. And then I'm going to open up the device number two. And it also has these changes automatically. And this goes, um, this is the whole concept of product. 
dashboard, um, payload decoder, database fields, downlinks, everything is defined on the product and each device inherits from the product but has the ability to store data on its own. Okay, in the next second half of this video, I'm going to show you how the routing works because you might ask if the payload decoder is on a product, how does routing into individual devices work? And I'm going to show you this based on those two devices. First thing that we need to do is we need to override the serial numbers because we want to do the routing based on serial numbers. Let's go into the first device and scroll a little bit down until we see the serial number section. We change this serial number to device 001, press on save, back into fleet, back into device number two, configuration, and we are going to do the same here. Scroll down to API configuration, change the serial number, device 002. So back into fleet, you can see the serial number is now set to 001 and 002. To um, demonstrate how routing works, um, I am going to add an MQTT broker here, an external MQTT broker, and we're using it first uh, a basic MQTT example. So let's add our first uh, MQTT broker. I'm going to use the HiveMQ broker here because it doesn't require any authentication or SSL, but you could also use SSL. We can test this. Okay, connection is successful. We add this um, MQTT broker in here. We save it. And now what we're now going to do is we are going to add our first uplink decoder. All these uplink decoders are also happening based on the um, product level. So we want to subscribe to a topic called DTCK for data cake slash wildcard, because that's where the serial number comes in, slash data. Um, in here, I've got the MQTT Explorer already set up, and we're going to send a topic, which is DTCK slash device 001 slash data with a JSON payload for temperature and humidity. We can also test these decoder functions in here and paste in this data and also um, the payload, which we are going to simulate to trace this here. So if I'm now press on try decoder, nothing will happen because I need to write the decoder. So first of all, we need to extract the serial number. Serial is uh, embedded into the topic. So we're going to spit, split, not spit the topic um, and extract the second element, which is our serial number. And now we can uncomment this one here because that's the routing. Um, it returns an array of dictionaries and in that dictionary, there's the actual sensor value embedded. So we can replace this with serial. This is temperature for our temperature field. And this is payload.temp because the payload is embedded here. I can leave that. And if I now press on try decoder, I can see, okay, in here, there is this temperature field and it's mapped to new device number one. And, and as you can see, there's no way you yet. What, we, what I forgot to do is that I need to convert the payload to JSON. I'm just going to do this here because data cake also allows you to send binary data or strings or whatever. It doesn't require JSON all the time. Let's try this decoder once more. And you can see here, there's the way you, um, I could, of course, add this and also um, change this to humidity. And this is .hum. We try this once more and then we can see, okay, um, it returns both devices to device 001. And if I replace the serial number now to the serial number of the second device and try this, um, it routes the information automatically to the second device. Okay. That means everything is working. We can add this uplink decoder, um, press on save. No, we don't need this. If I reload this, the MQTT broker should also be connected in here. Yeah, we can see it's connected. Um, we can see the subscription in here. Okay, and we are now on device 001. So let's go into this device 001 and let's open up the MQTT Explorer. Okay, and I can now send data this is 001, and let's send this data here. And as you can see, it's automatically updating. We can also change this to a pretty high value. And yeah, this works. Okay, so I can change the serial number here to 002 and paste some different data. Um, and as you can see, this is not being routed into that device, but of course, it's being routed into the device number two. Um, just to showcase this, let's change this a little bit. 
publish this. And yeah, this data is now routed based on the serial number. This is how the routing works based on products. That means that everything is happening on a product and the payload decoder of a product describes how you route the information back into the devices. But how does that work on downlinks? Well, basically it's the same. You can add MQTT downlinks and in here you have access to the serial number. That means you can define the topic dynamically based on the serial number and route information back to your devices. That's the power of products. And the best thing about that is if we would now add multiple devices with individual serial numbers, all we need to do is um, yeah, change the topic structure and the routing automatically takes place onto that device and everything is just working. And yeah, that's how products work. That's the power of products on DataCake. And that's it. There's documentation available. And well, thanks for watching as always and stay tuned.